I think it's time to start retro. There's. Yes! Oh, thank heaven, Jesus! Deed is won again! Q reigns! Q! Woo! Oh, 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 shit, shit, uh, 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 hey guys, uh, uh, Battleground was awesome, um, two, two time reigning, defending, uh, Dean effing motherfucking Ambrose, uh, I'm not, I'm not apologizing to the language on this one, it, it's Dean Ambrose, um, yeah, what the, what the hell, Bob, you, you demon looking mother, just get to the news already, jeez, alright, dumbass, uh, yeah, uh, be back for, uh, obviously, Retro News loosely on, uh, Comic-Con, and, um, obviously, Power Rangers, and, um, the big one, Godzilla Resurgence trailer review. Alright, see you in a bit. So, in the meantime, Dean fucking Ambrose! Yes! And back to action. Uh, okay, so let's start with, um, I guess... Uh, the big two for Comic-Con, um, Marvel, uh, and their Netflix, uh, mostly, uh, they finally had, uh, official trailers for Iron Fist, uh, Luke Cage, and, uh, obviously Defenders to close out, uh, I think, pretty much the year, I think there is going to be a season three of, uh, Daredevil, really can't wait for that, there will probably will definitely be a season two for Jessica Jones, still can't wait for that as well, um, most likely Jessica's, uh, second season will probably have more involved with what Luke's going on in his first season. Best guess, don't know on there for the shared universe, uh, sorry, cinematic universe end of it. Um, as far as Defenders, this was a long time coming. I'm glad that it's finally happening, and hopefully pretty soon, um, either the end of 2017 or the beginning of it, we don't really know, so... Uh, that's it for the Marvel end. Uh, oh, I did see uh, the second trailer for uh, Doctor Strange, and wow, that's a lot of mysticism. And uh, I guess going with the whole whitewashing thing that I, I think I might have addressed with, uh, I did, with a uh, Ghost in a Shell card for that. Um, long story short, uh, there was for Tilda Swinton's character, but I'm pretty sure they're not as heavy-handed on it because of... I guess the character was stereotypical. I don't know. Uh, there was a whole thing about that there. Um, I guess card for Doug's take on wh whitewashing uh, nostalgia critics. So in case you want to get like a rundown on that part of it too. Um, overall, Marvel's looking pretty good. They're pretty solid. Um, I have yet to see uh, any news on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 other than... Kurt Russell's probably going to be either a character or Star Lord's dad uh, for the movie. Don't know. Because that makes sense. Because he's a pretty badass guy and he would probably put up with it. Um, uh, Carol Danvers was confirmed to be the official uh, Captain Marvel for the Cinematic Universe. Uh, really, really don't... Oh, Brie Larson is the actress. name. almost missed it. Sorry. Uh, but in case anyone wants to see something like action oriented that she's in... Surprisingly, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, um, you'll know it when you see it. Uh, just saying. Um, oh, and um, for Agents of Shield, they are f they are confirming that they are having a Ghost Rider as a guy who likes common riders and just motorcycle wearing not wearing <laughs> riding badasses. This is actually a good step up for their uh, I think their fourth season at this point. Um. Yeah, this is a good step up. They're gonna bring mysticism in. It makes sense for the whole, I guess, Doctor Strange element that's coming in. I guess that's that their soft nudge into the mysticism. So that's that's gonna be nice. On to DC. Um, they brought out the big trailers. Um, they added extra in, uh, footage for uh, Suicide Squad. I'm not gonna focus on that. I'm just waiting for the movie to come out. I'll get my official thoughts on it. Um, so far, um. It's. It, I mean, the Suicide Squad's gonna look okay. It's gonna be a good movie. No, there. No joke. It's gonna be fun. Way more fun than Batman v Superman. Sorry to say. Um, and speaking of Batman v Superman, uh, the, the the logo behind me. Yeah, let's talk about that Justice League trailer. Um, holy crap! They actually wanted to step it up. Um, it, Ezra Miller. I was skeptical on him being uh Barry Allen, but. Uh, he might be a fun, fun version of Barry Allen. CW shows better. <clears throat> sorry, 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 sorry. Um, just saw that season three trailer, and oh my god, they're doing Flashpoint. 
Yeah, that's still not a drill. Um. Oh yeah, Wonder Woman trailer came before this. Uh, phrasing, I guess. Uh, take a shot of every time I say Archer jokes. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, crappy games aside, uh, I like the I like the Wonder Woman trailer. It's not that bad. Um, it's again, like I said in the Batman v Superman review. Um, I guess if I have too many cards, I'll uh, link it to the description. Um, most likely it's. It, it, I think the theme of the story is that it's basically set a hundred years before the events of Batman v Superman and obviously Justice League. So, it's basically showing like her travels going through the world of man throughout all of time and see like if they're ever going to cooperate with the Amazonians. And I kind of think that's okay. Uh, Chris Pine as uh, Steve Trevor is actually a good idea. Uh, he's handsome enough for it. I don't. I don't freaking care. Uh, I am gonna try to see Star Trek Beyond, uh, hopefully later this week, uh, sorry to say. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, Justice League itself! Uh, the trailer was nice, um, like I said early on, uh, Barry was, like, the only funny part. Batman tried going to be, like, a total, like, badass in front of, uh, Aquaman and Aquaman, and I was like, nope. He's like, okay. Yeah, he said no, guys. Guys, he said no. We can't do this. Uh, I'm gonna assume eventually Jason Momoa's character is gonna come back in. I mean, it is Arthur Curry. It's uh, the most badass he's ever gonna be as a character, Aquaman wise, since I want to say the New Fifty Two movies I was reviewing like what two years back. Uh, so that's that's a step up. I'm just saying. Unless they magically cut off his hand and gets a hook. I, I don't know. I'm just overthinking it. Um, Trailer-wise, it's not bad. Um, I'm assuming the first trailer is probably stopping... I don't really know who's the villain. It's either Steppenwolf or something related to Superman that they will have to, like, eventually impart to. Probably get him back from the dead to, like, stop whoever it is they're going after. Some say it's Steppenwolf. Others say it's Darkseid. Um, I don't know. Honestly. Um... So yeah, uh, let's get to the Toku portion of our two news. Uh, My Morphin, the movie, well, actually, Power Rangers. Uh, I did see, actually, the cast interviews. Um, I card to anything, any of them I might have seen. Um, or in the description, in case, again, the cards are too much. Um, and it's a good interview that looks like they had a lot of fun on set. They're actually having that whole I think in the interviews is that we want to react like a team coming together kind of like actors would like acting like you know friends or professionals or whatever like that I guess something like that. long story short they're trying to make it authentic that they just randomly came together and randomly became a team uh naturally as story wise I guess I don't know uh hopefully that makes sense come the final product who knows let's just get to the helmets themselves and more importantly underneath it is their power coin now, uh, to their credit, um, they have a translucent kind of thing, and you have to, like, uh, this following photo here, have to, like, um, I assume, like, do, like, a shine in the light to get their, uh, power animal, sorry, <laughs> I was about to say spirit animal, uh, basically their dino coin, uh, working at the right light, so, that's cool, um, yeah, showing it off here, uh, yeah. Let me get a zoom on this so you can get an idea. Oh, thank you to um, Engine Vault on their Facebook for having these photos. Uh, it's probably not the first uh, guy, Toku, official Toku site that has already talked about this. Obviously, IGN and many other um, uh, news outlets uh, went to Comic-Con and talked about this as well. So I'm just rubbing off whoever I can find at this point. Um, yeah, so basically it's like an indicator for the power coins, uh, I guess for the kids or whatever. Um... Other than that, let's get back to the helmets themselves. If I can find it. There it is. Um, they actually look pretty good. Um, the colors are nice. They're very well defined. And if you were on my Tumblr, uh, went their official onset reveal of their helmetless uh, mode for the for the suits. Uh, and everyone's like, oh, they took it from Iron Man. No, parenter has been doing that since crap as far back as I can remember uh, the faceless part of uh, the whole helmet design was always been I think from time force down to Nin ninja storm aka hurricane in uh, sentai so yeah uh, 
No, we, they didn't take it from Iron Man. That they, they t Iron Man took it from them. Sorry for the uh, umming on this one, but eh, whatever. Uh, more prop designs, more prop designs. Uh, so yeah, not really much on that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna show footage at Power Morphicon, and if they do, or if there's an official trailer, I'm definitely gonna talk about it. Don't worry about it. So let's get to the main event itself Godzilla friggin resurgence I will be right back because I have to prep this in case of copyright reasons so Godzilla watch is back on yes Woo! and welcome back to the final half of retro news the Godzilla Resurgence trailer. Uh, quick updates before we get into the trailer. I have seen uh, the news when it's related to the uh, Godzilla US release. Uh, Funimation is allow aware, I think aware or is uh, distributing it uh, as a limited release again, kind of like they did with uh, Attack on Titan and the DBZ movies. So uh, my thoughts. I'm happy that's here in the states. That it's going to be out the same time as it is going to be in the, in Japan. I think the 29th. Uh, as of this recording, so that'd be cool uh, to see that happen. Um, just you know, I kind of wished a longer release and maybe you know a worldwide kind of distribution. That way, you know, not just my country, but everyone else uh, in the Western audience um, could also see this as well. But eh, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, I really hope that it does get to be uh, on Blu-ray. Because I really want to review the movie. <laughs> no joke, I really do. Legally, instead of um, uh, with fan subs. Because I will do it no matter what. I'm going to review this movie one way or another, somehow. Um, having said that, let's just get to the trailers itself. Uh, let's uh, Toei logo. No, Toho. Uh, my bad. And here is the big man himself. Uh, he's looking pretty fierce as always. Uh, I think this is the first close-up shot we have of the claws, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Bob. Yeah, uh, yeah look at this. Uh, there, 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 there. It has a zoom, dude. I, I keep telling you this. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. So, yeah, that's the first shot of, uh, I think, his claws. Uh, best guess is probably not as uh, short as everyone's been saying. Uh, also... I believe the tail as well uh, I'm not really entirely sure uh, the same thing about that um maybe they're medium-sized or whatever again come the final movie itself we'll find out what's going on in that situation uh, having said that uh, yeah this is your average uh, running away from Godzilla stuff I mean it's been trying to uh, for every uh, Godzilla movie the past several decades so that's pretty cool there uh my apologies for hearing stuff outside uh it's just that it's really hot out uh today in new york and i have to really stay cool any way i can so my apologies there i forgot to mention that when i was doing comic con news my bad there uh so yeah with that um again i love these uh foreground shots of uh godzilla they look really good really menacing uh at least i hope so um let's get to more of the destruction aspect of Godzilla. It's very nice, very pleasant. I think it's more on the stomp by stomp uh, step basis that I was talking about in the previous trailer. Uh, card to that. Uh, again, also my cards have been a little overused. Uh, again, description if that is also the case. Uh, ah, the first wide, really wide shot of Godzilla. Uh, can you get the zoom? Yeah. I got it. Yeah, so that is where, with my cursor, that is where Godzilla is. That is all of the city. So, someone really loves wide shots, whoever's directing this. So, thank you to that, I guess. Uh, let me see here. Ah, yeah, back to the uh, boardroom drama. Uh, it looks like uh, one of the executives is trying to... Yeah, thanks, Bob. Uh, this guy right here, uh, uh, give me a like if you like the whole cursor guy over here. <laughs> Not now, Bob. Anyway. Um, yeah, so basically he's just reacting what's going on with the news. They're all trying to have, like, I guess, strategies on how to evacuate the area uh, in their neighboring towns. Best guess. Uh, I'm not a guy who's seen the movie yet, but thematically, I guess that's making a lot of sense for all these boardroom meetings. Like, they're all trying to, like, decide uh, how to evacuate everyone accordingly, things like that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, again, more boardroom, uh, just 
waiting and I guess hoping like hell this doesn't get any weirder than and crazier than it already is with Godzilla. Uh, one of them in particular is probably one of our star uh, secondary characters. My again, like the last trailer, it's all music based, no dialogue. So your guess is as good as mine at this point for the movie. So yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I think yeah, here it is. A lot of intermediate drama, like a lot of intensive, looking at you intensely eyes. I don't know something like out of a a courtroom drama or day drama in this particular case. Um, it looks not bad. Uh, like I said in the previous trailer, I guess they're trying to shoot for more a J drama oriented kind of aspect, give it more of a thriller vibe when it comes to Godzilla, which in the long run kind of makes sense, and I hope so. And if they don't underplay the drama or overdo it, I don't know. Uh, I guess when it comes to Comic Con news, I I'm also very much aware about uh, Con Skull Island uh, being a thing. I'll probably make a future video on that. Uh, so. I guess the long story short of it, can Godzilla kick his ass now? <laughs> Just saying. Anyway. Um, more MTA. Uh, just basically figuring out, uh, I guess, how to get more transportation f uh, fixed up before Godzilla destroys more of it. My best guess. And back to that, I assume their first uh, night raid on Godzilla. I guess coercing with the military just making sure everything is up to code when it comes to taking this guy down and then you realize it's Godzilla he can't be bargained with can't be reasoned with I know Terminator line but what are you gonna do it's Godzilla uh again bordering guys just freaking out uh I guess their chamber of commerce or whatever version of their cabinet is or again their government is probably still discussing I guess the old destruction like uh, total damage and the lives lost, I would have to assume at this point. Ah, oh, yeah, dream team of, I assume, PA, uh, PR uh, guys I also mentioned in the previous trailer. Yeah, I guess in, this is obviously a helicopter shot, and it's them, I guess, now figuring out that shit just, just got real, and I guess they lost whatever the hell they were selling to the boardroom guys, or I assume the military. Uh, having said that, let's get to our first, I assume, action shot of uh the later on i guess for this movie's godzilla battles and the choppers are very um i hate to say it 1998 reminiscent of godzilla uh for those who haven't ever seen the 1998 godzilla don't long story short military one so just saying but in that particular movie they also used sorry i didn't hear anything weird at the end uh family drama don't worry about it uh, so let's get back to the trailer, um, itself, uh, let's see here, ooh, uh, yeah, long story short on the uh, chopper attack, it looks pretty good, uh, they and on top of family business, low battery, <laughs> yeah, uh, like I said in the previous trailer, uh, there will be low battery, because I have to go shot by shot with each, uh, point in the trailer, so let's, uh, skip to, oh, I think they're, I don't even know if this is a GoPro shot, but, uh, an angled shot for their, uh, I'm gonna assume Gatling guns that they normally put on, uh, helicopters on Godzilla. And like I said, uh, throughout the, this and the last trailer, is that they are really very heavy-handed on the zoom-out portion on, uh, Godzilla. I guess they want to, like, show more distance and that this is a very fierce Godzilla, and... Hopefully that is Atomic Blast. Uh, yeah, spoiler shit's also in this trailer. Uh, we'll get to that. Oh, we're gonna get to that. Um, is gonna probably have like a really big arcing blast if it's anything indications with these uh, zoom out shots throughout these uh, for, uh, first two trailers. Um, I know this is a blurry shot, but it's basically uh, the entire Japanese military getting ready to uh, mount up, I think, rocket launcher attacks and i think javelin uh attacks uh for anyone who uh, watched or played the old uh, call of duty games um getting to that uh it's a nice shot that led up to hang on let me see here uh more chopper fire obviously here and find it here we go uh, here we go yeah more uh mortar and cannon fire on Mostly the top center of uh, Godzilla's face now, I guess, falling from where that action scene 
was in the last trailer. I guess like a follow up to it. Um, not bad. The explosion is obviously Bayformers is all hell uh, on the bottom half of Godzilla's body, like I said in the uh, last trailer. But not even not even Bayformers can save you from Godzilla. I'm just saying this is Toho Godzilla, ladies and gentlemen. Um, ooh, I didn't see. That. I don't remember this shot. This is a very zoomed out shot of pretty much. Uh, the entire uh, landscape of the battle and I assume more of the mortar fire and rocket fire that's happening on Godzilla so I'll get a zoom for the dust cloud I guess when it comes to it again it's another full body shot of how the width and tail structure is on Godzilla and it's looking pretty good on uh, the no jokes there uh, so I'll just do some wrap-up shots because I really don't want to make this trailer any longer than it is uh, again, night ra night raid shots from the last trailer, so that's not that big a deal. Uh, the only new footage of it was him doing, I guess, 2014 kind of uh, shaking and rumbling when they got to the San Francisco shots. I guess as like a callback to say, hey Americans, uh, we can do this better than you kind of thing, I assume. Uh, this is, I think, a top-down angle of Godzilla. Um, I'm sorry for my glary as a whole light, but... Um, it, when you do see the trailer itself, uh, I forgot to mention, very long-awaited <laughs> card for this trailer. Uh, again, probably in description due to the theme of this video, having more cards than, um, uh, more links than cards. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, getting back on topic, it's probably the most, uh, only time I assume you'll have, like, a top-down view of Godzilla with a good close-up. Again, with said full body, because they want to, like, I guess show how massive intensively crazyly uh, fierce and large obviously that uh, this particular Godzilla is and uh, again the war itself from the previous trailer so I'm gonna skip that over uh, the only added footage was him uh, finishing the war uh, I guess this is the closest we're gonna get to him closing his mouth uh, in this particular scene until again of course the full movie itself uh, oh yeah they're doing D-Box uh, uh, for anybody who's in Japan seeing this, an IMAX 4D, uh, 4DX, and uh, D box seats. Uh, I want to say the D box seats. I'm not. A, I haven't been in those seats, but they sound pretty cool. It's basically like IMAX and with like a full theater uh, quality inside your seats. So that's actually pretty cool. Again, it's coming out the 29th. If you're in Japan, please go see it. Why are you even? Sitting out this long to my analysis of it. Uh, it's a good trailer. It's a good Godzilla. So. Let's get to the money shot! <laughs> oh, oh, that atomic blast. Um, in particular, it's more purple than blue with uh, the American Godzilla. I guess it's some sort of counteractive with his uh, nuclear fire that we've been seeing so far throughout these two trailers. Uh, I would love to have, see the explanation to why it's purple. Probably their explanation to his first couple of years in the game as uh, the King of the Monsters. Don't know. Um, there's more to this trailer. I assume it's probably some news article I might have took it from. So, uh, other than that, that is the full trailer. So, uh, my final thoughts on Godzilla Resurgence 2016 Trailer 2 and Comic-Con and all the retro news I have done. Uh, let's start with Defenders. Um, I think Defenders is going to be a good Netflix series. Uh, hopefully a good wrap-up to everybody's, um, stories. Uh, when it comes to the Netflix uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, that's gonna be great. Uh, Agents of Shield. Now that they got Ghost Rider, that's freaking great. Can't wait to see that. Um, Justice League. I really hope their trailer uh, gets better as time goes on. Kind of like uh, the Justice, uh, kind of like the Suicide Squad trailers. Um, most likely, you don't know. I don't know, but it's it it looks in tone a lot better than Batman v Superman. So that's kind of an up and up there. Uh, as for Wonder Woman, same deal. Uh, it has a better, sh I guess, structure story. So more on that, I guess, when we get to future DC news with Red Hood. Because, oh boy, <laughs> can only imagine what he thinks about Justice League. Um, hey, right here. Yeah. Well, what do you think about it? Um, uh, no comment. Really want to kill Joker. Yep. Nothing changes with him. And as with uh, Parenters news. Uh, again, my apologies that there hasn't really been any new footage or any footage at all of uh, said team. I'm pretty sure they're going to save it for uh, Power Morphicon, so yeah, probably going to happen. 
And let's just get to my final thoughts on Godzilla Resurgence trailer. It's a great trailer. Um, again, it still hinders on what the old trailer had. It had um, music all the way through. It didn't have any story elements or any brackets to give you any, any indication of what is going on with these scenes. I guess to keep more of the mystery of what's going on with Godzilla. Giving that this is the week before it comes into theaters in Japan, it kind of makes sense. Um, having said that, I'm Retro Kid of Retro Kid Reviews. Uh, my apologies if you've heard a, a brief snippet of any family drama going on in my house. Uh, nothing serious, don't worry about it. And uh, other than that, um, take care, have a good week. And, um, oh, that Atomic Blast looks great. Godzilla Watch! It, 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 it's, it, 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 we're at a precipice where it just breaks me, but now I just hope the movie doesn't suck. But given that we now have indication of the Atomic Blast, it probably won't. Uh, having said that, uh, give me a like and comment to any of the opinions or views uh, that you've seen on this video. Uh, thank you very much again for watching, and I'm out. Oh, that's a big mouth still. Holy crap, Steven Lawrence's uh, top 10 picks are really good. I gotta do that for the and uh, AJKW videos, and uh, yeah, hey, like, no post credit. I just realized this is like probably gonna be over 20 minutes talking about Comic Con and the Godzilla uh, trailer, so my bad. And um, having said that, take care, please subscribe, and later, bye bye.